tutorial on how to create a home page that looks like this for your Canvas classes. The way that I made this, I went to uh, Google Slides, and this is just a new blank slideshow. I'm just going to title it Sample Class. And I'm starting with a blank one. You can kind of get rid of these text boxes because we don't need to use them. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is get some sort of background. Um, I just googled virtual classroom backgrounds, but I'm just going to borrow this one that I already have over here. So I'm just going to copy that, paste just the background, and I didn't really like these shelves, so I googled a picture of different bookshelves, and so I'm just going to copy that and paste that over here. Okay, so this is where you want to just sort of, um, you can insert a text box, Put whatever you want up here so this can be your little like welcome to whoever's class and you can you know change that around and make it whatever font you want i usually i think i did something like this maybe center it and change it to your favorite color okay so that's just a nice little welcome message. So now we want to start putting, if you want to add a Bitmoji, what I did was I downloaded this Bitmoji extension for Google or for Chrome. And this, you can create your own Bitmoji. I kind of chose one where I'm sitting down. <laughs> so you just copy that, go to your slideshow, right click, paste, and then you just sort of resize and then move it so that it looks like you're kind of just hanging out, sitting on a couch. Okay, I also wanted to add some personal touches. So here's mine. I added a picture of my dog and then I added, I downloaded the logo for my school and I put that there. And then this is where you want to decide what kind of external tools. I put mine on the bookshelf and I wanted to include Desmos, Khan Academy, GeoGebra, and Gmail. These are all things that my students use pretty often. So all I did was a quick Google search. So I looked up Desmos logo, um, ping files are usually best, and then no background. And I did an image search, and then I just sort of saved this, or you can just hit copy, go back to your class, paste it. Now this one does have the background, so you're gonna have to just play around until you get one that doesn't have that gray background. Okay, so once you find one that does work, what you can do, once you've already made this, I'm just gonna copy this and then put that on my bookshelf. And here, this one already had a link, so I'm gonna show you how to actually do the link. You just choose the image. Up here you go to link, you type in what you want it to be. I want it to actually take them right to the calculator. I click here, then I click apply. Okay, so, Add whatever you want in here, add some personal touches, include whatever links you want. Then what's important for my students is the actual links that are in Canvas. So I'm gonna insert another text box, put this on the whiteboard. And what they use most often would be um, the Zoom link for class. I want them to go to their assignments and I want them to go to the modules because that's where I put most of what they're working on in class. Okay. So where it says Zoom link, copy that, insert link, and then paste whatever your actual Zoom link is for your class if you do Zoom sessions. Okay, so now for their assignments. But this one, the link that I wanna add, you have to actually go to your class. You should be signed in. If you click on assignments, you're just gonna copy this link up here. And then that's what you're gonna put right there and click apply. Now for Canvas, they should already be logged in. My students all have Chromebooks, they're already logged in. So when they click on that, it'll go to the assignments for their version for when they're already logged in. And you just do the same thing for the modules. You go back to your class, click on modules. But if you notice, it's actually the same link, except over here it says modules instead of assignments. The rest of it's the same. So if you want it to go to files, it's going to look exactly the same, but it'll say files right here. So instead of actually going over here and clicking the links, you can just change the word at the end and it should work. Okay, so once you have all that, so I did modules, assignments, and the Zoom link. 
I added these over here already, kind of personalized it with another fun little bitmoji. I'm a power lifter, they know that, so I put that there. And that's pretty much it. So once you're done with that, here's how to actually put this into your class. So I'm just gonna go to my homepage here. So I go into a class, and then what you're gonna to wanna to do is create this as a page. So you go into pages, and then I used to not have any pages, so here you're just gonna click add page. I titled mine homepage. And then what you're gonna to need to do in your sample class, you're gonna to go to file or the actual class you made, then you need to click on publish to the web. Now it's important here in this slideshow, I only have one slide. If you have a second slide here, you need to delete it. So here you're gonna to go to embed. Mine's medium, that tend to, that worked for Canvas for the size of my screen at least. You wanna start automatically. You don't really need to restart because there's only one slide, so it's just gonna stay on that slide. Then you'll click publish. And then you're gonna to wanna to copy that. Then over here, you need to switch this over to the HTML editor, and you're gonna paste that right in. So the thing is, when you paste it just like this, so I'm gonna click, save and publish. So now, this has the class that you just created. Now the thing down here, if you don't like this little bar, which I don't like it, I don't want that to show up, so, what I did, um, and I'm going to go to one of my other classes where I already did it. So this is my actual homepage. And I keep going back to it because um, it's easy to just sort of copy and paste from the same thing that you've already created. So what you can do is add in, there's this, right here after it says delay, there's this little and rm equals minimal. I'm just going to copy that go back to the page that I just created. This is definitely not something you need to do, it's just that that little strip there bothers me, so <laughs> I added this to get rid of it. So I go back into the HTML editor, then right here after where you see the number 3000, I'm gonna paste that there. And what that does is it just makes the margins minimal and it's not gonna include that little strip at the bottom anymore. So now it's gone. So there you go. And then if you want this to be the home page for your students, you just click on here and you would click use as front page. And then when you click on home, over here you want to have an option that says choose home page and you want to click on pages front page, the one that you just selected as your home page, and then click save. And so now whenever your students sign in to Canvas, they'll go to to their dashboard, but then when they go to your class, this is what they will see at their homepage.